Hi, God bless you. God bless you richly, my brothers and my sisters, and for everybody that is listening to this video. God is a good God, you know. God is a great God, and uh, I've decided to come and just talk with us today. Talk with us about the purpose of God into our life. It's so very important to, to pray and to ask God for what is His will into your life. Why are you here on earth? What do you have to do? These are questions that we have to ask our master, our creator, our father, our daddy. We can go to him and ask him, what is the purpose? Why am I here? Why am I alive? When you wake up in the morning, that is a very great question to ask because many have died in their sleep. Many didn't wake up. So, you have woken up. Ask him, what is the purpose for me to be alive? Teach me, Father. Teach me, Father. Teach me. Speak to me, Father. I really want to know. And you need, you need to mean it with your whole heart. That you want to know and to know and to know what is his plan for you to be on this earth. To be alive. Because I'm telling you, sometimes we live a life that we think the life is ours. The life, I decide what I will do. I'm telling you, I went through, through some, some very great people close to my heart that they had plans. But that came. And that hurts. It hurts for the one that stays behind because not only hurts it will let you even think of life what is life what is life we think we have life we buy car we have house we do have job and everything is all right but i'm telling you today i'm telling you be very very careful before it is too late it is time for us to wake up because this life, yes, many use it as this life is mine. I decide what I will do. I did, 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 did. I'm telling you, not even God can come against you when you talk like that. Not even God will come against your own will because he wants you to freely come to him. I'm telling you when you know that you know that you know the purpose, the real thing of being on this earth. You will be shocked. You will be very, very shocked. It is very important for us. And I'm talking now to everybody, even the ones that call themselves Christians. It is very, very important for us to stand on the word of God. It is very important for us to rely on God. It is very, very important for us to to accept Jesus into our lives. Because then you will see what is the difference. Now you cannot speak because you know only what you know. But when you accept Jesus, now you can put a difference in how you were before and how you are now. In what you thought was life and what you know now what is life. God is the one that that breath into you we need to honor him we need to give him praise we need to stand forth for his rules what he wants us to do my brothers my sisters all that are listening please life is nothing we just need to, to fulfill the purpose of God on this earth. Yes. And when you are walking into the purpose, people can call you even in the night to do it. They can call you in the night to sing. They can call you in the night to pray. They can call you to do things. Because you love to do it. That is your heart. Go and search for yourself. After you have asking God, search and know what is there that you really like to do? 
What are the talents that you have? What are you enjoying to do? My brother and sister, please. Life is too short for us to joke with. Life is too short for us to give it away to nothing. Many are using drugs, alcohol, and whatsoever, thinking that it will, it will, um, how do you say that? That it will stop the pain, that it will stop the suffering. It is not, it is just for a few moments. You will think that it is done, but it is not done. When you, when you get clear, you will, you will, when you come back by your mind, you will see that it is still there. And even if it is, it is more, because you cannot even handle it. You have to go into God. You have to go on your knees and begin to pray. Father God, I thank you, Father. I thank you for being here for me. Father, forgive me. Forgive me, Father God, for denying you, Father. Forgive me, Father God, for not coming unto you earlier, Father. Forgive me, Father. Here I am. I'm giving my heart back unto you, Father, for you to give me the direction that I need, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, I accept you, you alone, as my Savior. You are my only Savior. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. And after you pray that prayer, you go and look and search for a good church, a Bible preaching church that will help you, will support you in a decision that you have taken. God is a wonderful God. God is a great God. We need to stand for him. We need to push through. We need to do the things that we need to do in the mighty name of Jesus. We cannot let every kind of hurt, offense, and all of that put us down. Let us stand up now. Let us stand up and do the right thing. Let us stand up and do the right thing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The word of God is saying rejoice. Again, I say rejoice. Philippians 4 verse 4. Let us rejoice. Does it mean that God didn't know that we will be feeling pain, offended, or whatsoever? No. He knows it. He knows that we will feel all of that. But for that one, for those one, he sent his, his, his only begotten son to the cross to die for us, our sins. And the son went through all of this. But now, coming back to now, rejoice in every, any situation that you are going through. Rejoice again, I say rejoice. And you will be asking me now, but how? With him, you can do it. With him, by closing your eyes and telling him, oh, this pain is too much, Father. I cannot do it alone. Help me, Father. Help me, Father God, with this pain. Take it away or support me in it. In the mighty name of Jesus, if there is anything that you want to, to teach me, Father God, help me, Father, teach me, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, you will know and you will agree with me in the name of Jesus. Amen. God is wonderful. God is great. God is glorious. God is yes. In the name of Jesus, I'm telling you, do what you have to do. Do what you have to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Because I know deep, deep down, you are not uh, happy. You are not the happy, happy. And if you say, yes, you are happy, okay, God, Jesus, can make you more than happy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you. Father God, I thank you, Father. I thank you for who you are. I thank you for your greatness. I thank you for your word. I thank you, Father God, that you are the mighty God, Father. That you are a great God, Father God, and we can trust you, Father. You have a great smell, Father God. You have a, a, a goodness, Father God, a, a, upon you, Father. When we speak with you, Father God, let your goodness touch these brothers and sisters, Father God, and all that is listening, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank you for who you are. I thank 
thank you for your glory. I thank you for who you are. You are a great God in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be unto your name, Father, because you are wonderful, Father, in the mighty name of of Jesus, hallelujah. Direct the path of my brothers and sisters, Father God. Let the heart be open. Open up your heart so that God can, can sow into it. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, Father, I thank you for who you are. You, you are glorious, Father. I don't have a word to say you are good. You are good. You are good, Father. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your greatness. Thank you, Father God, that I am focusing also, Father. Whenever you sent me, Father God, to speak a word, I am ready, Father God. I am ready, Father, for what you want to do in me, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, I want to ask you to please let us keep on praying for each other. Amen. Let us keep on praying for each other. Put your comments uh, there under and let me know uh, what for testimony you have. Write down what you have because everybody that is reading it, it will touch their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen? Hallelujah. Glory be unto God. And I will say God bless you. Until later. Bye.